Uh, I tell you what, I'm I'm uh, I'm just really really proud of our our young men. I'm I'm really proud of the coaching staff. Uh, certainly, we have great respect for um, you know, the Pitt State program, and and uh, I just thought that our our guys did a did a tremendous job. Um, Played with great discipline, played with, with with great passion and love for one another. And you know, we talked last night in the hotel, and you know it was you know guys. Our our goal is is not to beat Pitt State. Our goal is not to win a national championship. Our goal is simply to keep on trying as hard as we can to uh, to honor God with um, how we love each other, uh, the accountability, the work ethic, um, the, a sense of humility, a sense of gratefulness. Um, but the the really good thing is when you do those things well and you you love each other and you and you you commit to one another and you and you try to honor God, um, it, it seems like good things happen. And we just we really do have a a special bunch of young men um, that, that that love each other. And I thought that was evident today with how they played. And just uh, really really proud of uh, today. We'll open it up for questions for Jeremiah or Darius. You guys were involved in the two plays that broke the game open. Uh, Darius, what did you see on your run and that was so wide open? I ran to that corner and I seen my teammate uh, Dane Romberg, my other receiver, and he had that DB locked up. And I knew right there uh, I had to curb it for him. That's, that's what we do. We do it for all of our guys around us. Had you run that play before this season? Yeah, we've run it twice, and both times it really didn't go go for anything. And yeah, Jeremiah, what'd you see on the interception? All right, so on the interception, but um, I was playing off. So as I'm on um, the play started, I seen them like um, running, toss the ball. But I could also tell how hard the um, receiver was running because we also um, talked like have great eyes and not, not focus too much in the backfield. So <clears throat> as he was running, I just uh, stayed up with top, and when the, when the ball hit the air, I just tracked it. Did the wind stop the ball because the receiver had gone on? You guys kind of tangled up a little bit before the ball got there. Nah, I don't, well, I couldn't tell, but <laughs> I, just, I was just taught to train the ball. I'm, when I see it in the air, I just tracked it the whole time, didn't take my eyes off. Darius, I'll ask you this one. Uh, when you know, obviously you guys don't throw the ball a whole lot to making that catch on the touchdown. I mean, how good did that feel? And obviously knowing that you took that defense to where they could, how did it feel getting that in the end zone? It always feels great to score. It doesn't happen much as a receiver over here. <laughs> but, yeah, whenever Cole puts me in that position, our quarterback, I, I got to make the play for him. What was kind of the design on that? Because, you know, with you guys running for a while and being so successful all day long, what did that kind of design look like and what brought out the passing game in that moment? Uh, it's just we're watching that backside safety, and if he's flowing with the motion, uh, that corner, he's like he's a little too wide to come and make a play on that. And uh, he's still, he still trying, obviously. He was right there. But yeah, whenever it's wide open like that, I just, I'm just running like right off that safety's hip, just trying to get across the field. Cole put it right on me. Darius, you guys throw the ball so little. Do your eyes kind of light up when, you, when they call a pass? <laughs> I can't do that. Make the defense, uh, their eyes light up too. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions for the players? All right, let's open it up for questions for Coach Simmons. Coach, over 500 yards rushing is not new for you guys, but you did not have a 100 yard rusher. How unusual is that, and what does that say about your backfield? Well, I'll tell you what, that. You know that speaks uh, volumes um, to to who we want to be and, and why we even went to this offense because it's all about uh, it's about being unselfish and, and taking what the offense uh, what the defense gives you. Uh, you know we got so many talented young men and and um, you know I thought that the attack was just really balanced today. Um, and that, you know we also we. We, you know, we used two B backs, what we call our fullback, uh, and both of those guys were, were really effective today. Obviously, you know, the O line was dominant. The O line was was so dominant today, and um, you know, there's there really is just amazing power and belief. And I, I just, I, you know, these guys uh, they believe, they expect to uh, to go out and play well, whoever we're playing against. And uh, obviously, Coach Wheaton and the offensive staff. 
uh, boy, they were they were on today and just did an awesome job. And when it's uh, when it's when it's being run well, it is a beautiful thing, without a doubt. How long have you done this offense? I think 2010, I believe, was our was our, was our first season. So it's it's been uh, it's been quite a while. Yeah, we actually played here in in 2014, right. and. Uh, you know, jumped up 21 to nothing, and and uh, but uh, we we couldn't hold on to it, and um, so this was uh, this was a better day today. Your defense is so good too. Does it? But does it kind of get overlooked because your offense is so good? I mean, the defense kept you in the ball game early while the offense was struggling in the first quarter. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I, I promise you, our, our defense doesn't get overlooked by. The opposing OC or coaches, you know, we, you know, those guys have been, uh, been really, really elite, and 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 yeah, you know, early in the game, uh, but we didn't play well. You know, I, I look up and we got two turnovers, uh, and we also extended two drives on third down penalties, but we're up, you know, we're up fourteen to three. I thought, man, this, we're not playing well, and it, and and good things are happening for us, but, uh, you know, the defense. I mean, we lead the nation in about six categories, so it's not it's not surprising when they play well. Um, you know, the defensive staff at, at Harding, I, they are really, really elite. It's a, it's amazing the hours that those guys put in. You know, if you're if you're at the office, and I'm serious. If you're at the office at 4 a.m., you know, there's coaches that are there working, and it's just it's just amazing how committed they are to just giving our young men the very best chance that they can have and. Um, you know, I can't say enough about our entire staff. They're 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 really special, and they love these young guys. And you know, for us, you know, winning is fun, but it's mostly fun because we get a chance to be together for one more week, right? We get we get we get Thanksgiving dinner together. We just one more bus ride, one more uh, one more time to be together, one more trip, and and this time of the year, that's what it doesn't matter the score. It's just about being together one more week, and um, so I'm excited we get to do that. Did you guys see something upstairs that the reverse was so wide open? Well, you know, I'm a, I'm the head coach, but I'm a defensive guy. Um, I'm not I'm not I can't I take zero credit for the offense's success, but um, I guess Kenny saw something. You know, I'm I'm kind of like, hey, we might not do that again. There's a lot of grass out there, you know, but uh, uh, so. <coughs> Any further questions? Thank you and good luck to you in the next round. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.